Hey, gun people! Man, I just... <laughs> I really can't believe this. This is just freaking shocking to me. Okay, for those that don't know, this is in Malibu. And in California, lifeguards are considered peace officers. And I don't know if other states do that too. I'm assuming they do. A lifeguard is kind of like when they're on duty, they're considered a peace officer. They don't carry a gun, but they have arrest powers on the beach. And they have the authority to close the beach and you have to follow their orders. Uh, they give them government police powers. Malibu, pretty much firing. So when a lifeguard tells you to do something and you don't do it, you can be charged with interfering with a peace officer, failure to obey an order, uh, in jeopardy safety. If you hit a, a lifeguard or hit them, it's considered assault on a peace officer. So lifeguards are giving this extended government power because they work for the government, one. And two, they think that they're public safety guys, probably for their retirement is probably why they want it. But anyway, this guy is out here surfing doing the... 2020 coronavirus lockdown government has to save everybody so they have people on a boat together violating the order but rick they're government they're exempt okay whatever freaking pesky packs paying citizens lifeguard boat trying to get this bro oh you have three cops here with no mass not really practicing social distancing they can touch each other so again rules for all the pesky tax paying citizens never for government this looks like a lifeguard car here and this guy is out here minding his own freaking business not in contact with anybody surfing on the ocean which evidently the government owns now minding his own business and look at the money and resources your government says they need to protect you with out freaking rageous oh, bro. Up. Is that Laird? Laird, you got it. It's painful to watch. Oh, Sorge. Down. Sheriff boat. So, not only do we have a lifeguard boat, we have a sheriff boat coming over too. We have cops on the land, cops at sea, and cops up on the pillars. Watch this. And they put a drone up. This might be our first, uh, could this be the first? Arrest made for surfing, documented on in in history. Look at now he's trying to bone, dude. <laughs> High speed pursuit. High speed pursuit. Run! What is he trying to do? <laughs> so I don't know if they've told him, "Hey, you're in violation. You're under arrest. You're violating the order. Clear the beach. Go back." Again, this is your government tax dollars with their fancy boat and paying all these people money to save you, to keep you safe. You pesky taxpaying, minding your own business, not endangering anyone but yourself. The government has to save you. Even if they run you over with a boat and kill you, they're doing it to save you. Out freaking rageous. <laughs> oh man, you can't even make this up. I love this place. Yo, it's like OJ Simpson. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> These two guys doing this, <laughs> doing a video is pretty funny. They put Baywatch music in here in a second. <laughs> it's a highway pursuit. It's a stand-up paddle pursuit. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so somebody tell me what's reasonable. How much resources? How much gas? Boats? safety of these people running these boats possibly wrecking the boats into the pier here in a minute how much will they go to in order to save this guy and they're not really saving him now they just want to arrest him uh -oh, here we go foot patrol two people in here two people in here three people here Five people in California, all making over a hundred grand a year. Boats, gas, drones. Hang on, we're not done. <laughs> Foot Patrol, they're gonna lose them in the pilings. <laughs> Look how bad he's gonna hit the pier. He's gonna crash. He's gonna crash in the pier. 
You're going too fast, bro. Slow down. <laughs> and we have cops up here. Another hundred grand a year or more cop getting paid. Getting paid to protect you. To save you. To come to your rescue. Because you're too stupid to exist without government saving you. Oh my God. <laughs> it's too much, dude. Look at these guys. <laughs> they got the evidence. <laughs> Foot pursuit. <laughs> so this boat is running close to these piers, endangering probably the two people in the boat, probably endangering the pier to catch a guy who is not bothering anybody. <laughs> Where's he going, dude? He's gonna commit suicide. He's just gonna go and crash into the piling. Oh yeah, they got to send out the drones. So now they've got a drone in the air. The sheriffs are here. The lifeguards are here. The cops are on the beach. Damn, they're gonna protect and serve the shit out of you, no matter how bad you don't want it. Uh oh, here they go. This is great. The first ever. Oh, he flea faked him out. Now he's going back out to sea. Did the old switcheroo. Oh my god. This guy's really dude Laird. Killing me. Uh oh, he's screwed. Now he's got this guy. This guy's coming in. Let's see the highway pursuit. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, this isn't dangerous. This isn't risking life or property or government resources. Hey, we got to catch this guy. All bets are off. I mean, who knows? This guy could be like a terrorist or something. <laughs> Cut him off. Throw the, throw the tax down. Pop. So in order to save you, we're going to risk running you over with a boat and cutting you up with propellers. Thank goodness we have government. Man, I just feel so much safer. I'm surprised this guy isn't trying to tase him from the freaking pier. It's the tires. Oh my god. Spray him with a hose. <laughs> so now the boat's going to end up crashing into the pier and they will charge this guy for endangering these guys, damaging the boat, and damaging the pier. Because government's here to save you. Government's good. If we only had more government and if government only had the guns, we would all be safe and happy. Everybody sing along. Uh-oh. Sheriff boat. Two boats trying to quarantine one guy on a surfboard. Protecting and serving the shit out of you. Out freaking rageous. Oh. So I don't know if they cut that out, if they knocked him down, or if he hit the boat, or what. <laughs> These guys are pretty funny. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta be. Goodness, the police are out there protecting and serving us. What would we do? Here's a different camera view of uh, where the boats were trying to come in and run them over with the freaking boats in order to save them. All that government just making you feel safe, warm, and fuzzy. This is what happens when you have a lot of government and they get bored. 
So every time you hear an agency saying, we need more cops to keep you safe, we need more police, crime's out of control because we don't have enough police. If you just pay more taxes and we hire more police, you'll be safe. Then when crime goes down, what do they do with all that government that they've hired and they can't fire because government never shrinks? You know what? They got to find ways to fill their time. Here you go. Let's go protect to serve the shit out of some dude out in the middle of freaking water, not hurting anybody. And here's where they got them on the shore here. Uh, of course, they cut out all the stuff probably where they ran him over. He's in handcuffs. The cops got their man. The police came to serve and save you. Don't you feel safe? Man, if we only had more government, then we could really be safe. Out freaking rageous what people are accepting and are viewing as a good thing to have more government. Well, in that there.